You never make money in business by doing the same old thing as everyone else. Except sometimes you can, if you do it better or cheaper or with a twist. So with that in mind, let's see how our next visitors to the den perform with their take on the photo booth. Good afternoon, Dragons. My name is Hiram Cook. And my name is Joshua Cook. And we are here today to ask for £50,000 for 7.5% of our business, Zevin Media. Now, you've probably all seen and hopefully used a photo booth in the past, whether it be at a party or a wedding. And I'm sure you've all used the blow-up props and the big glasses as well. But what we did at Zevin Media was we took the photo booth concept and we decided to create a high-end photo booth product the Zevin booth is an integrated contemporary photo booth which we designed specifically for retail outlets, bars, clubs, hotels, restaurants. Now, since our launch less than 12 months ago, we've worked with some of the world's leading brands and events. Uh, the reason why we attract such a, a high-class clientele is because our, our photo booths are uh, connected to the internet, which means that when people take their photograph, they can instantly upload their photos onto Facebook, Twitter and email. In just under 12 months, we've turned over £120,000. That's just in rentals. Now, a couple of months ago, we decided we were going to start selling them. We've sold and delivered one, um, and we've got four pending orders ready to be delivered in the next couple of months. As well as this, um, we decided and created also a coin-operated system whereby we put them into bars. This increases, obviously, um, people's experience in that bar and makes them earn a little bit of cash with a very small um, amount of space. It's been great to pitch you today. If We'd be happy to accept any questions, but we'd also be happy if you, one of you wanted to have a go. I'd love to have a go. Yeah, come on up. A composed pitch from Joshua and Hiram Cook who would like an investment of £50,000 in return for 7.5% of their company. So this is the cameras here. There you go. Looking very glad. <laughs> Kelly Hoppen wants to get a more detailed picture of their photo booth business. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, what do you rent them for? We rent them at £650 for up to six hours. Wow. Um, this month alone, we've done around 35 rentals. What does it cost to make one? It costs 3200 to to build. It costs what... us 3200 OK, so if you were to sell one, what are you selling them we for? We sold for 9595 I was just about to purchase one of the really yeah. large ones that I've <laughs> rented before for a party, but they're so ugly. Yeah. They're sort of this shape, and you yeah. kind of yeah, sit in them, them, and yeah, it, awful. It's like a flat pack. It's the IKEA of photo booth. <laughs> Every Tom, Dick, and Harry that wants to start a photo booth company, purchase them. The entrepreneurs certainly seem to be on Kelly Hoppen's wavelength, but there's something about their responses that's left Peter Jones bemused. Have you done any research on the dragons? No. You should be very embarrassed, then. Are you an investor in a photo booth company? Well, I own Jessup's. OK. And one of the biggest things over the last four to five months has been photo booths. Yeah. But look at the picture that Kelly's taken. I mean, it's got to be the most boring picture and photo you've ever seen. The fun about taking photos in a photo booth is about putting funny glasses on, funny hats. We didn't want to sell to people that um, was wanting to sell photo booth companies. We wanted to sell to businesses. For our retail clients, they, they want the fun and everyone still has the fun, but they also get to experience it in a, it for tight spaces. You, you wouldn't believe how many small 
retail spaces we've had it in. I think that you've made a few fundamental errors here. I think as soon as that photograph's taken, the world gets to see a photograph that potentially mm. you wouldn't want out there. Yeah. I mean, ob obviously, the social media is, it is an option before the event, whether the client wants that or yeah. not. Um, it's just obviously for corporate and retail em yeah. environments. They use it because of this, yeah. and they use it because they want their logo all over social media. Yeah. A failure to do their homework has undermined Peter Jones's confidence in Joshua and Hiram. But will the photography tycoon's annoyance sour the mood of his fellow dragons? And what's your story? I mean, how long has this been happening yeah. and what did you do before? Well, I left school um, at 16. I didn't have any GCSEs. I went knocking doors, selling them gas and electric. Um, and then my older brothers, they set up a renewable energy company. In the space of six months, we had five locations nationwide and I was the national sales manager for the whole group. I did that at like 19. Um, he studied graphics in graphic college. Graphic design and photography. And anything technical or uh, creative, that's me. Who owns the business? We, we own it and then our two older brothers have a small share in the business also. The reason they have that is because um, we work from their office. Um, they pay for all our insurances. They pay for all our internet. And how long will they prepare for that to continue? Until we say to them, OK, we're actually bigger than you now, so uh, <laughs> we need to either kick you out or go get our own premises. <laughs> so who does the finances out of the two of you? Me. I do everything. He's bad with money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> was he meant to say that in the day? No, he no. Was, I wasn't. <laughs> I stay in ETAPs, he stays in Hilton's. Mm. Let's just say that. So the next bit, which is the um, coin-operated, yeah. Uh, so have you looked into the cost of manufacturing that? Yeah, it's only like an extra £135 to do the coin-operated systems. Okay. We're going to build 10 with the investment um, and then obviously we're going to increase that monthly. As soon as it's placed in a place, we start making money, they start making money. And how much could somebody, what are you thinking? Okay, could so we've gone saying that we'd like to do 100 prints per week. So that would bring a, a £300 turnover and then we are hoping to keep around 80%, 20% going to the venue. You guys could sell snow to Eskimos, couldn't you? <laughs> um, the thing with this is, is that none of it is that hard to do in reality. We can't protect this. At the end of the day, we can't. We're not innovators, we're differentiators. So my philosophy is I'm going to go to the market, I'm going to hit it hard, I'm going to make as much money as I can. Then what? Um, I'd like to go to a company like Photo Me and say, Photo Me, buy us, please. I'm used to buying things out of administration, so I'll be around. <laughs> oh. So, I mean, what's plan B? Once we've sold business. You've sold this and you can't sell any more. The market's there. Another business that's profitable. I'll, I'll take your business cards if you want. And then <laughs> in the next one, we'll, we'll chat. With a combination of cheeky charm and entrepreneurial zeal, Joshua and Hiram are winning friends in the den. But will it win them an offer of investment from Piers Linney? I like you guys. I'm still not convinced about the product. You're sort of traders, aren't you, really? It's that today, it'll be something else tomorrow. You're going to make some money somewhere, you guys. Good luck with it, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. The young photo booth entrepreneurs have lost their first dragon. Will Peter Jones, who at the moment is a competitor to the duo, put aside his concerns and become a collaborator by making an offer? Guys, I think you've done really, really well. You've created a nice product. I think it's way overpriced and, over, and it is over-engineered, but there's nothing wrong with that yeah. for the first, you know, few machines. Yeah. You've, you've made me sit here and be slightly worried about you coming into the market and competing, <laughs> I don't mind telling you. I don't think it's right that I would look to invest, bear in mind that I'm ultimately a competitor anyway yeah, of because course. of an investment that I have. 
and that's the only reason why I'm going to declare myself out. Thanks. Okay, thank Peter. Despite the shaky start, only a conflict of interest has prevented Peter Jones from reaching for his wallet, leaving Kelly Hoppen or Duncan Bannatyne with the opportunity to snap up a share of Joshua and Hiram's business. I quite like the idea of competing with Peter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that thought. I'm going to start offering photo boosts at £100. Uh, it's people like that that ruin the industry, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm going to have to meet you an offer, guys. So quite simply, I'm going to offer you £50,000 for 20%. OK. It's really weird, because it's something that I've been thinking about. I am going to make you an offer, because I like you guys, and I love the design of it. OK. So I'll offer you the 50,000, but I want 20%. Thanks for that. It's quite a turnaround. There are now two offers for the brothers to consider. And leisure industry stalwart Deborah Meaden has yet to show her hand. Um, I'll tell you why I'm interested. Um, I always look for value that I can add to a business. And I was in the coin operator. Do, do you know I was in the coin no, operator no, machine industry? There are manufacturers in the UK that build coin operated equipment that I can put you into. But it's as much about you two guys as it is about that because you're on the lively end of an entrepreneur, <laughs> which personally is manna from heaven for me. It's the ones that I have to drag kicking and scre screaming that drive me mad. So I'm going to make you an offer. Um, and I'm going to offer you all of the yeah. money. But I want 25%. OK. Thank you. Are we OK to take a minute? feel with Deborah's experience in the coin operated industry that you could obviously help us but we're a little bit uncomfortable um, with diluting our shares so I want to ask you once you get your 50,000 pound yeah. back if you could go down to 20 percent no I'm happy to do that OK, well, then we'd like to accept your offer then, Deborah. Excellent. Brilliant. Well done, you. That's really good. So Deborah Meaden secures the investment. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Oh, she did that. <laughs> Despite asking for more equity than her rival bidders. For Joshua and Hiram, it's a small price to pay. Thank you very much. For the dragon they feel can best take their photo booth concept to the next stage. I feel a little bit shocked, um, but happy, very happy. I think you'll do well with those guys. I think they're really Oh, they're good. brilliant. Good luck. Into battle we go. <laughs> it's exciting, exciting to not only take the, the, the money, but to learn from a, a business tycoon like that. <laughs>